Manu, we know, we've noticed lately that a lot of people are creating content these days on LinkedIn posts, an article, or even live videos these days, or same with on Instagram. And the trend is going there. So what do you think job seekers should do in order to create content, especially mm. if they are not used to creating content? And we know that recruiters will go on LinkedIn directly if they like a candidate to see what they are doing besides work. So in that sense, do you have any tips for creating content that people are not used to? I think it's important to have a point of view, whether it's right or wrong, right? I think it's, it's important to have a point of view and back it up, um, you know, with empirical evidence and, and, and some facts, but to have that and exhibit that thought leadership, whether it be through business process, whether it be for, through technology or whether it be on, I don't know, people management. So to have a point of view, and I think it's key to be authentic and not write what you think people want to hear because then it becomes just a regurgitation of whatever else is out there, right? Uh, and everybody's a blogger, myself included, right? We, we all have content. And, but my goal is to, to try to impart and share some knowledge, or at least my point of view, and if people disagree with that, awesome. It's just another vehicle to keep my mind open to, right? So I'm constantly learning. Mm -hmm. uh, God knows whatever, whatever I say is not always right and may not be popular. And my thought leadership may also evolve. Uh, but I do think it's important, especially to have that, uh, again, when you talk about somebody's new and looking for a job, it's one more piece of information that as a company, I can evaluate on, you know, what are they thinking? How do they think? Are they being entrepreneurial? Like, are they, you know, what are they putting out there in terms of content? Uh, it's interesting. Is it unique? And that would make me want to interview or at least meet someone or, hey, hey, I know somebody else in this a different industry that might like what you got to say. So there's definitely benefits to it. Uh, and, you know, looking like look at your analytics, like who's looking at your profiles? What hashtags are you using? What hashtags are, are valuable mm -hmm. and which, which are not? Um, what user groups are you following? Yeah, that type of thing. And I feel that if you know your call values or if you know yourself, that also can reflect in your post. So if you are an animal lover or you like to volunteer your time for to Greenpeace, put articles about that. If you're a, a technology lover, put articles about that, follow people or thought leaders in technology, and then that kind of will create your brand and your content on social media. Agreed, yep. Again, uh, again, thank you for those great tips, Manu. Um, and for the audience, again, if you have any other tips in terms of creating content that will be benefit for newcomers or even for people that are here in Canada, please leave it in the comment section. Uh, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Manu.